you know, the outdated uh, calories in, calories out model that's keeping millions trapped in frustrating weight loss cycles. What you're about to actually discover how 19th century industrial technology created a deeply flawed model of a human metabolism. Why two people eat an identical calorie amounts can actually have a dramatically different body responses. The shocking truth about protein digestion that diet plans never really mention. How hormones like insulin control, fat storage regardless of calorie intake. The groundbreaking NIH study that approves calorie counting is fundamentally flawed. Why your gut bacteria might be extracting 15 pounds worth of extra calories yearly. And the controversial carnivore diet approach that's helping people break free from metabolic prison. By the end of this video, you'll understand why counting calories has failed you. And more importantly, what actually works for sustainable weight management. This isn't just another theory, it's based on cutting edge metabolic science that changing our understanding of how the human body truly processes food. Prepare to have everything you thought you knew about weight loss turned upside down. The entire diet industry is built on the oversimplified lie that a calorie is just a calorie. This industrial era thinking treats your complex body like a simple machine while ignoring the biological reality of the human metabolism. The calories in, calories out model was actually established in the 1800s using primitive bomb calorimeters that burn food in a sealed container. These devices literally incinerate food to measure heat output. So let me emphasize this. Your body is not a furnace. It's an incredibly sophisticated biological system with hormones, enzymes, and trillions of bacteria that all influence how you process food and regulate weight. The weight loss industry desperately pushes the simplistic calorie counting narrative because selling you AI apps, plans, and processed Diet foods with the precise calorie counts is enormously profitable. What they're hiding from you is that your body processes 30% of protein calories just to digest the protein. Compare that only 2-3% to for processed carbs. Hormones like insulin, leptin, and ghrelin dramatically affect how your body stores or burns calories. The same calorie amount of different foods triggers vastly different metabolic and hormonal responses. Your gut microbiome can extract different calorie amounts from the exact same foods between individuals. Calorie counts on labels can legally be off by up to 20% and studies show they're routinely inaccurate. So think about what this means. Two people can eat identical meals with the same calorie count and have completely different body responses. Yet, we're all taught to count calories as if they're the only thing that matters. So let's look closer at the first shocking truth, the thermic effect of food. See, when you eat 100 calories of chicken breast, your body burns about 30 calories just digesting it. But with 100 calories of, let's say, white bread, you burn only two to three calories in digestion. That means 100 calories of protein leaves you with only 70 net calories, while 100 calories of processed carbs gives you 97 to 98 net calories. Nearly 30% difference. Yet, both count as 100 calories on food labels and diet plans. This single fact alone completely undermines the all calories are equal myth. And it's just the beginning. So here's a complicated truth. While energy balance does matter, you can't violate the laws of thermodynamics. See, the calories in part is wildly imprecise, and calories out is constantly changing based on what you eat. Your hormones, sleep quality, stress levels, gut health, and dozens of other factors. Insulin is particularly crucial. When insulin levels are high, your body is in storage mode, directing calories into fat cells and preventing fat burning. Foods that spike insulin, like refined carbohydrates, 
cause more fat storage even at the same calorie levels as foods that don't spike insulin. So here is a quick question. Which food requires more calories to digest? A. Processed carbs B. Protein C. Processed fats or D. They're all the same. Now, if you've guessed B, you're right. Protein requires roughly 30% of its calories just for digestion, while processed carbs use only 2 to 3%. This is called the thermic effect of food and is completely ignored in standard calorie counting. Now, let's talk about the trillions of bacteria living in your gut. Research shows these microbes significantly influence how many calories you extract from food. So two people can eat identical meals, but depending on their gut bacteria composition, one might absorb significantly more calories than the other. Some studies suggest differences of up to 150 calories per day from this factor alone. So that's 54,750 calories per year equivalent to about 15 pounds of body fat just from differences in gut bacteria, yet the calorie model treats everyone's digestion as identical. A groundbreaking 2021 study found people eating the same calorie amount of ultra-processed foods gained significantly more weight than those eating whole food, showing the fraudulent nature of simple calorie counting. In this NIH-controlled study, participants who were given either ultra-processed foods or whole foods with the exact same calorie counts, macronutrients, sugar, sodium, and fiber content, the results were freaking shocking. The ultra-processed food group consumed an average of 500 more calories per day, they gained weight while the whole food group lost weight. Blood tests showed significant differences in hunger hormones between groups. This groundbreaking research proves that there's something fundamentally different about how our bodies process and respond to whole foods versus ultra-processed foods, even when the calorie content is identical on paper. Are you still obsessively counting calories while ignoring what you eat and how it affects your unique metabolism? The truth is more nuanced, energy balance matters, but food quality, hormone regulation, and metabolic health are equally crucial for sustainable weight management. So instead of fixating on calories, consider shifting your focus to these evidence-based approaches. Prioritize real whole food that your body recognizes. Balance the blood sugar and insulin by limiting refined carbs. Support your unique gut microbiome with diverse plant fibers. Optimize sleep and stress management, which dramatically impact metabolism. Build muscle for metabolic resilience. Muscle tissue is metabolically active. The path to sustainable weight management lies not in malicious calorie tracking, but in nourishing your body with quality foods, supporting your hormonal health, and building metabolic resilience through lifestyle practices that work with your body rather than against it. Now, as eye-opening as this information is, there are important considerations. Energy balance still matters. You can't eat unlimited calories and lose weight. Individual responses vary based on genetics, activity level, and health status. Any significant dietary change should be discussed with a healthcare provider. And rapid weight loss approaches often backfire long term. For most people thought, when implemented properly, focusing on food quality and metabolic health rather than just calorie numbers leads to more sustainable results and better overall health. So drop a comment with metabolic if this information has changed how you think about weight management. Have you been frustrated with calorie counting that didn't work long term? Share your experiences below. Now let's talk about one of the most controversial yet potentially powerful dietary approaches for metabolic health, the carnivore diet. See, the carnivore diet is exactly what it sounds like, eating only animal products while eliminating all plant foods. This means beef, lamb, pork, poultry, fish, eggs, and some dairy products become your entire food supply with absolutely zero fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, or seeds. Why would this seemingly extreme approach work so well for some people? The answer ties directly 
back to our discussion about calories and metabolism. The high protein and fat content of the carnivore diet can actually help you feel more full after meals, leading to reduced calorie intake and subsequent weight loss. But the real magic happens with insulin. So by completely eliminating carbohydrates, the carnivore diet dramatically reduces insulin levels. And when insulin levels drop, your body can finally access stored fat for energy. Studies have shown that type 1 diabetics actually had a faster metabolic rate when they went off insulin. This leads to incredibly stable blood sugar levels throughout the day, eliminating those energy crashes and constant hunger pangs that plague so many people on high carb diets. Without carbohydrates triggering insulin production, your body leans toward burning more fat, which may result in weight loss since insulin prompts the body to store fat rather than break it down. So when you eliminate carbs, your body enters a metabolic state called ketosis, where it produces ketones from fat to fuel your cells instead of using glucose. See, in ketosis, blood sugar is more stable, there is less hunger, and energy levels are more consistent. Many advocates report reduced inflammation, increased energy, and mental clarity. A 2021 Harvard study surveyed over 2,000 people allowing sorry, following a carnivore diet and found some remarkable results. Based on the data, researchers concluded that contrary to common expectations, adults consuming a carnivore diet experienced a few adverse effects and instead reported health benefits and high satisfaction. So what exactly can you eat on a carnivore diet? So here's your complete food list. All types of meat, beef, lamb, pork, game meats, for poultry, chicken, turkey, duck, for fish and seafood, salmon, sardines, shellfish, for organ meats, liver, heart, kidneys, their nutrient powerhouses, for eggs, a versatile staple, animal fats, you have tallow, lard, butter, Low lactose dairy is optional, hard cheeses and heavy cream, for salt and minimal spices, and of course water and bone broth. So if you've noticed what's missing, all the high insulin spiking foods like bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, sugar, fruits, and even vegetables are completely eliminated. That's why it's sometimes referred to as the zero carb diet. So that said, let me ask you this. Have you ever noticed how hungry you get just a few hours after eating a healthy breakfast of oatmeal or whole grain toast? That's your blood sugar crashing after the insulin spike. Now imagine eating bacon and eggs instead. Many people report staying full for 5 to 6 hours afterwards. This is the metabolic advantage at work. So now I'm not saying everyone should jump into a carnivore diet tomorrow. This approach isn't right for everyone and transitioning can actually be challenging. But while the carnivore diet appears highly restrictive and may seem unsustainable initially, many find success by implementing it strategically with occasional rotational food additions. However, for those struggling with severe metabolic issues, insulin resistance, obesity, or inflammatory conditions, a carnivore approach, even as a temporary reset, might be worth exploring. So the key takeaway is that carnivore works because it directly addresses the hormonal imbalances we've been discussing throughout this whole video. By removing all food that trigger insulin, you're finally giving your body a chance to rebalance its metabolism and tap into fat stores for energy. And when you think about it from an evolutionary perspective, see some scientists have proposed that during human evolution, the scarcity of dietary carbohydrates in diets with low plant to animal subsistence ratios led to insulin resistance providing a survival advantage with selection of genes for insulin resistance. Our bodies may be optimized for meat consumption in ways we're only beginning to understand. 
So whether you choose to explore carnivore or not, understanding why it works highlights the fundamental flaws in conventional dietary advice about calories and reveals how powerful the proper hormonal environment can be for weight loss and health. So your next step, start looking at your food choices through a metabolic lens rather than just a calorie lens. Pay attention to how different foods affect your energy, hunger, and satisfaction levels. There are clues to your body's unique metabolic response. So as always, don't forget to hit subscribe and that notification bell to join our journey toward optimal metabolic health through evidence-based natural approaches. Until next time, this is your nutrition guide, thinking metabolically and zooming out. Oh, and if your personal trainer is still making you count cal every calorie while ignoring food quality, maybe slip them a copy of that 2021 NIH study. Sometimes the most powerful research is hiding in plain sight.